In their first ever face-to-face -face meeting, the leaders of the United States and Britain have renewed the historic Atlantic Charter of 1941, which was the blueprint for emerging from World War II. They both stress the need to ensure democracies, starting with their own, can tackle new global challenges. Kim Hyo-sang reports. The U.S. and U.K. have signed a new Atlantic Charter, one more tailored to the 21st century. The move came Thursday during the first face-to-face -face meeting between U.S. President Joe Biden and British Prime Minister Boris Johnson in the U.K. ahead of the G7 summit. The allies aim to take the role of global leaders to tackle the world's biggest challenges. Today, we build on that commitment with a revitalized Atlantic Charter, updated to reaffirm that promise while speaking directly to the key, the key challenges of this century, cybersecurity, emerging technologies, global health, and climate change. Prime Minister Johnson also hailed the charter, underscoring that their bilateral relationship is important for global prosperity and security. I, I don't think it, it is any exaggeration to say that the relationship between the, the UK and the US is a, the relationship between North America and, and Europe, uh, which really sort of is incarnated in that Atlantic Charter of 1941, which we've renewed uh, today between uh, me and President Biden, is of massive, massive strategic importance for the, the, the prosperity, the security of the world, uh, for uh, all the things we believe in together, democracy, human rights, the rule of law. Uh, the US and the UK stick up for those two things together. They also highlighted their similarities as democracies in being able to deliver on solving critical challenges of the time. The renewed charter, which was the declaration of cooperation that President Franklin D. Roosevelt and Prime Minister Winston Churchill signed during World War II, also entails the two countries' commitment to tackle public health issues, including the COVID-19 pandemic. Following their meeting, President Biden announced that Washington will donate 500 million COVID-19 vaccine doses to about 100 low- and middle-income countries over the next 12 months. The accord also entails support for NATO and puts emphasis on opposing election interference and disinformation campaigns. Kim Hyo-san, Arirang News.